Um, hey, we are OUSSC. We are the Ohio University Sierra, Sierra Student, Student Coalition. Coalition. Um, we're a group of environmental activists, um, advocates on campus, um, just do cool things like go hiking and watch documentaries and talk about divestment and climate change and stuff. I'm Grace Fuchs. I'm the vice president of OUSSC. I'm a senior environmental studies major. I'm Winter. I am a junior studying environmental studies and journalism, and I'm the president of OUSSC. And we're here to, today to answer your most frequently Googled questions about climate change. That's me. Is climate change real? Yes, it is. Yeah, we're, we're at like 90, above 97% scientific consensus here. So um, we would say yes. Number two. Is climate change caused by humans? Yes. Um, humans are accelerating the rate of any natural systems that would cause climatic change. And due to the release of uh, greenhouse gases through the combustion of fossil fuels and deforestation, we are accelerating climate change. Number three. How is life in Ohio affected by climate change? Well, climate change affects us here in Ohio in several ways. First off, um, there's going to be a lot more extreme weather events. So instead of a happy medium temperature-wise or precipitation-wise, we're going to see a lot more flooding or drought, not so much anything in the middle. Uh, same thing with temperature. It's either going to be really, really cold or really, really hot. The like season length of fall and spring are becoming shorter. So we just exist in the extremes more. It's one of those things that in Ohio it's not as apparent, right? Climate change is this huge, like, more invisible force. Um, and around the world you're definitely seeing things like, like crazy fires and, and typhoons, but... Sea um, level rise. Sea level rise, exactly. I think more importantly here is that we have a lot of contributions to climate change that are affecting um, places who are experiencing more direct impacts. Dun, 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 dun. Number four. <laughs> Did climate change cause the polar vortex? The polar vortex is the massive amount of freezing air that comes down from the Arctic and spreads across the Midwest and uh, Canada. The time that we're filming this, the polar vortex was just a week ago, and the entire Midwest experienced absolutely freezing temperatures. Climate change certainly influenced the behavior of the polar vortex. The polar vortex and the jet stream sunk down from the Arctic, bringing all the cold air because the Arctic air is much warmer than it normally is, and it was pushed downwards to us in the Midwest and the U.S. Um, it causes, you know, blizzards, it causes freezing temperatures, and that shift in the air mass happens because of the warming um, Arctic and North Pole. Since that is like warmer than usual, the mass differences push the cold air onto us. So school being canceled was a result of that? Yes. Climate change. Which we shouldn't tell people that though. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last, Last question. question. Hey. How can we help stop climate change? There are so many different ways and actions that we can take to help limit the impacts of climate change. Um, one is using a reusable coffee cup when you go get a cup of coffee somewhere. Okay, let's see. Let's... Uh, turn off lights when you leave the house. Join uh, OU Sierra Student Coalition. Vote for politicians that stand for sustainability and, and green ballot initiatives. Use public transportation instead of your car. Buy electric vehicles. Try to buy things uh, secondhand if you can instead of brand new. Support basically the divestment of fossil fuels. So make sure your personal investments aren't invested in funds that are invested in fossil fuels. Um, maybe advocate for the university that you go to to divest from fossil fuels um, or the business that you're a part of or you're creating, um, your organization. Um, yeah, all of that. Learn about how climate change is not only going to impact your life here or in the future, but how it is impacting people's lives right now. Thanks so much for joining us, um, for letting us answer the most frequently asked questions on Google um, about climate change and divestment. You can find us on social media, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, it's Ohio U, SSC. Um, we'd love to have you join us or at least join the discussion.